Good morning, my name is Mike Turpey. I'm a Scottish Blue Badge tourist guide uh, who stays in Edinburgh, based in Edinburgh, and I'm taking a walk out during this time of lockdown and social isolation, so I need to keep moving to give you a bit of a virtual tour of some of the beautiful areas around where I stay in Stockbridge. Now, Stockbridge, uh, before the 18th century, was quite a small hamlet, meaning smaller than a village, one of the outlying parts of what we know as Edinburgh today, but now has grown with uh, some magnificent architecture and influences. And just behind me here you can see uh, St Bernard's Crescent, uh, which has got kind of Grecian style of architecture. And just in front of it is the gardens, uh, St Bernard's Gardens, which are private gardens and most valued by the occupants here, where you can come and sit out in the sunshine. <laughs> Now, there was a grouping of elm trees here called the Rayburn Elms up until the 1980s, uh, which was associated with Sir Henry Rayburn, who was a famous son of Stockbridge, who became a society portrait painter. He married a local wealthy lady called Anne Edgar, and uh, they had a family. His son, unfortunately, went bankrupt, and uh, fortunately, Henry Rayburn fancied himself as a bit of an amateur architect and Gardner, and took on board some of the most famous uh, minds of the time, including James Milne, architect, and he oversaw the development of Stockbridge as it is today, with uh, such uh, streets as Rayburn Place, uh, further over from here, and Anne Street, which is another beautiful classical terrace street. But this one of St Bernard's Crescent is a bit different because he had a friend called David Wilkie, who was also an artist, and David uh, kind of uh, recommended that uh, Rayburn should oversee a more purer style of Grecian architecture. And as we take a walk down uh, closer to the architecture here, you can see how heavily influenced it is uh, by uh, Greek uh, styles of architecture. Now, if you notice the uh, pillars in particular, they're what we call Doric pillars, and we've got the most elegant frontages and entrances all the way along here. It may be kind of similar to places like Bath, and it is very popular with filmmakers, not surprisingly, because it doesn't take much to take this back to another uh, point in time, and it has been used for various films including uh, Great Expectations, uh, the film uh, version of the famous uh, Charles Dickens book, and another film, Mary Riley, which is a take on Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde, and of course written by Robert Louis Stevenson, famous son of Edinburgh also. So walking down, you can get an appreciation of uh, the awesome <laughs> architecture and uh, I feel very sort of, privileged actually to be able to walk past all this history just now quieter than normally you would find it. And we're coming up to the centre area, one of the most imposing bits of it, which has got uh, two huge pillars uh, in front of it here. Okay, just have a, another look at that. So uh, Stockbridge today uh, is one of the more fashionable uh, areas of Edinburgh. It has a village atmosphere, a community atmosphere, and uh, it's very popular. It retains its market, which existed uh, during the 19th century, and uh, you can come and buy local produce on a Sunday afternoon. Uh, so that's uh, quite a colourful experience, and uh, when people get together for a chat and so on. So, uh, yeah, it's a popular uh, location also for advertising products like the Barber Company have used this uh, part of town often as well. Now, we'll take another view across the street at the private gardens uh, with the ash trees. No longer elm trees, unfortunately, uh, but uh, these ash trees were there at the time of Henry Rayburn as well. And there's some flowering cherries coming out as well, which are most beautiful. It's springtime in Edinburgh, very special. 
Okay, I'm just going to wind up there and wish you all a good day and uh, thanks for joining me on this uh, virtual walking tour. Hope to see you sometime in Scotland or you can maybe swing by Edinburgh, look me up and uh, I'll give you a walking tour. Okay, all the best for now and thanks for watching. Thank you, bye-bye.